Welcome everybody. Today we're going to take all these excess bismuth crystals that didn't quite work out, add in a few kilos of bismuth thanks to Grim Metals. You guys rock. And I've got a new idea on how to make bigger crystals. <laughs> Well, if you see here, we have a bunch of sand surrounding my melting pot. And the reason for that is in order for it to slowly cool. It acts like insulation, holding the heat in. Because I've read in order to get big crystals, you have to have that cool down slowly. So let me light this up and we'll start making some crystals. Okay, we've got two kilos in, but let's add some more. Another kilo. Another kilo. It's kilo day. All right. Goodbye, kilos. Let's hope to turn these into some cool crystals because Grim Metals does do a sweet, sweet job. Well, might as well add a few extra kilos just to be safe. You know, can't ever have enough kilos. Okay, while we're letting this all heat up, take a quick look inside the cooking pot. Put the lid on to try to get the sand heating it up a little better because it's gonna take a while and while we're here we could show you my dirty garage huge 14 foot door there that way my toy hauler can fit it's a tiny little toy hauler double axle but it fits my four-wheeler in there just great and while we're at it there's my Mustang Cobra just waiting for everything to warm up here let me show you this See this garage? Everybody's like, why would you want to put a garage in the back? Let me show you, it's pretty cool. And by the way, up here, look at it. It goes into the rafters, unlike most garage doors that hang down. So your actual opener is right there, attached to the side. These are great for when you need high lift. So if I want to, look, I can actually back my camper up right to there and open the door. And look out. And what do we look at? Check this out. And he said, why build a, a back deck? And that's why. I wanted it for the view. So now I have my own little personal deck back here. And it is really thick, just to show everybody. This is seven feet thick of concrete. Let me go show you. There's the garage. That's only a 10 foot door. You can see the solar panels in the background. I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna even close it one day or what we're gonna do, but for now it's just a nice little patio. Just look at that cool view. Just an overcast day today. All right, well, let's get back to the garage. and. Finally, getting some melting going on. Oh yeah, dripping down. It's like the T2000 liquid. See all the crazy colors it gets just from melting it? Sweet. Real close to the end here. Look at how much it's melted. Awesome. A few more minutes to go. Okay, looks like it's all melted down. We're gonna do our first little skimming job just to get any of the slack off the top. Just kind of pour it all over into one corner. And all this stuff can just be reused again. No big deal. All right, now we're gonna let it just sit here and cool down the heat off. And we're gonna skim the top every couple of minutes just to make sure it doesn't form a crust too much that we can't pull out any crystals. All right, time to remove it from the heat. Okay, we're at 25 minutes cool down so far. Just gonna check this top here. Still looks good, I don't see crystals being made yet. So we're still just gonna keep skimming it. So obviously the sand is working and it is cooling down at a much, much slower rate. All right. 
All right, we're gonna try this again. We're almost at the 30 minute mark. Just kind of give it a gentle scrape. And it is really cool to see all the different colors that pop up. Oh, we got the purples coming in. And we got some crystals starting. Getting close. So it looks like it's probably in the 30 to 40 minute range till you can start getting crystals. Okay, let's see if we can pull some crystals out. I gotta break the edge here. It's a weird in between molten and liquid and solid, so. See if I can pull this one up. A little slow. Come on. Come on. And it drops. Try this guy. Okay, that one might turn out good. Alright, let's see if we can pull off a couple more. This piece looks like it might be a good one. Oh, it's solid. the hardest part is grabbing it. Let's try for this piece. Lift it out slow. Ooh. Now watch how cool the colors change just from the air hitting it. Gold to purple. Next should be a little bit of blue. That one turned out sweet too. Look at that. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have to grab some more now. Let's see here. This looks like a good one. Nice and slow. Eh, that one's okay. It's cool when the colors turn though, watch. There's the purple. And here should be some blue. There we go. It's not a bad piece. I should have left that one sit a little bit longer, but that's okay. Oh. All right. That piece looks like it's been sitting a while. I'm gonna try to grab one right around it. Okay. And that one didn't turn out too good. But it has a sweet color change going on. Here we go. Let's try this piece right here. Nice and slow. Not the biggest piece. Boy, that color change is so fun to watch, isn't it? Okay, it's time to start pulling out more crystals. See if we can get any good ones. I'll give it a sec here and let's see if it turns colors.
It's not too bad. Okay, here's a chunky monkey. Nice and slow. Give it a second to drip. Let's see if we got anything. Oh yeah, that one looks pretty good. There's some big, chunky crystals on this guy. Nice. That's what I'm going for. Way bigger. Just way better than the non-sand method. All right, I'm gonna go for this piece back here. Ooh, look at that. Nice, hefty piece right off the bat there. Ooh, wow, look at that. Oh, geez, that's a beauty. Give it a sec here while it turns its colors. Oh, this works way better. All right, everybody, the key is sand, and you have to leave the cover off so they can oxidize. Look at that surface turning all those colors. Sweet. All right, everyone, here's my pan of goodies. Look at all these cool crystals in here. All right, let me set this down and let's just go over a few of them. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for watching me make some cool bismuth crystals. The premiere train is moving on, so make sure you click the link in the chat. Thanks so much, Mad Stacker, for having this cool premiere train idea. I know all of us enjoy it. It's like our Saturday morning cartoons, as I've said before. Shazam. Man, these are so fun. Look at this one. It's like 3D the whole way around. Pretty sweet stuff. All right, everybody. Thanks so much, but this premiere train is moving on. Let's click the link down in the chat. Let's go on to the next video. Let's get this train rolling. All right, thanks so much. This is Wild West. Saying to everybody, have a good one.